What's up guys? Paul Simon here. Uh, we've got an R66 in the shop today that we're going to be uh, repairing. The uh, number one compressor seal is uh, apparently leaking, or is leaking. This is the second R66 that we've had that uh, has had the same problem. The first one had a little less than 200 hours on the aircraft, if I remember correctly. This one has just a little under 100 hours on the aircraft, uh, and the uh, number one compressor seal is leaking. So. Is this a common, uh, common problem with R66s? I don't know. So far around here it is. <laughs> but I haven't called around and asked everyone that's got a 66 is your number one compressor still leaking yet or not. But uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look at the repair. All right, so we're, uh, we're removing the engine today because the uh, number one compressor seal seems to be leaking. Uh, this is the second... R66 that we've had to do this where um, the front seal on the compressor holds oil in around the bearing and when it starts to seep then the oil um, gets blown into the compressor in through to the scroll and you'll start seeing the uh, uh, remnants of it coming out the diffuser vent It'll even actually show up on the outside of the aircraft through this uh, opening here. Because when the engine is running, part of the time it's sucking air in to the diffuser and then most of the time it's blowing air out, excess air. And you'll start to notice the oil accumulating here. You can also see there's some that has yeah. uh, blown on up the against firewall. the fire shield. Yeah. Fire yeah. But to get to it, you have to pull the engine out. That sounds easy. <laughs> Actually, they come out pretty easy. Yeah. A couple hours. All right, man. Appreciate that explanation. Here's the compressor, and uh, you can see inside here even, there's a... Uh, you can see some oil right there on my finger there. Uh, he's got to take the nose apart. You know, the front part of the compressor. Take the oil there. Yeah, you can see right there where the uh, turbine oil is accumulating there on the part of the scroll there. Here's a Rolls-Royce 300, power of the R66, and believe it or not, this engine costs, well, when they first developed them, I think they were about 450000 a piece. I'm not sure what the whole engine would cost these days, but certainly uh, probably went up, not down. It bolts around the front, and that whole housing comes off, and then he'll be able to get the seal on the bearing out. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're putting more and more parts on all the time here. <laughs> yeah, reinstalling the engine here. The store is closed because the front door is open. Well, there you have it. If you've got an R66 uh, during your pre-flight, you might want to keep a close eye on that. Look for any uh, oil splatter around the sections that we showed you to uh, where it can commonly occur. And uh, you know, if it if you find it, it needs to be fixed. So, and again, who does your maintenance matters. <laughs> All right, need to be somebody that knows what the heck they're doing. So, well, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it helpful. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next video.